Hey everyone, Sandy here, and it is the end of August, and this is my August Citrus Twist Kit, and I have not scrapbooked anything with it, I am ashamed to say. Um, we had a pretty exciting month. My son graduated boot camp and became a Marine, um, and I kind of like pushed this off to the side, and we did things with him uh, as a family while he was home on leave. And then scrapbooking-wise, I've been using my Rediscover Your Scat, stash kit and I've been creating layouts from that and I've been having a fun time with it um, and the papers and stuff that I had um, really didn't go with what I wanted to do but I do have some Mir Woods photos from when we went in 2016 and I do want to use this kit to scrap those so let's see what I can do all right, so I'm starting off by using a section of this Summer Lights uh, paper from Pink Paisley. And um, my word, this has got to be my favorite piece of paper from the Citrus Twist kit this month. Like, I love this paper. If I wasn't on a scrap bash, I would be buying some more. Um, I do get to use it on a second layout though, so that is pretty exciting. So um, this page is actually kind of simple, but it turns out, in my opinion at least, really pretty. And this is going to be like the opening, uh, like the opening kind of section divider uh, for the Mere Woods section of my 2016 scrapbook. So I used a piece of white American Crafts cardstock, and that did come in the kit. And I just layered that paper on there. And I used two photos. Now I actually, that um, photo on the right is actually a panoramic shot that was printed on a 4x6 uh, photo. So it looks kind of weird, but it's a really cool shot. Um, and then there's just this close-up shot with um, the bark of these two redwood trees on the left. So I was giving you a close-up and a, like, a, whoa, look how tall these trees are, kind of look at the same time. And I really liked this picture of my husband and I, and his shirt just happens to match um, these papers and embellishments perfectly, so I figured it worked great. So... I layered the two photos, I placed them side by side and layered them up on a piece of cardstock. Now I'm not exactly sure where this cardstock came from, I couldn't tell you. Um, it might be from one of the Recollections Hot Buy cardstock pads. It might be something that I've just picked up along the way, I'm not sure. But it's kind of a like a gray-green color. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, what the color is on there. Now I used this frame and that's from the Maggie Holmes ephemera pack um, for carousel and I really like this frame. It's got this pretty gold glitter around it and it's just a pretty frame. Um, and I go ahead and use that for um, the photo of us. And then this trim also came in the kit and I'm just going to run that across the bottom of the photos and just to give just to give it a little bit of texture. Um, because I know that this page is going to be um, pretty pretty plain in the sense of not a lot of different kind of textures on here. So I just trimmed that off. And I'm happy with that already. I already like the little bit of uh, crocheted lace along the, the photos there. And I, I really like it against that... Um, kind of that distressed wood. Like, I, I love this paper, guys. I love it. I doubt very seriously that I'm going to buy more of it. I mean, even if I wasn't on... Maybe I will. After, after the challenge, when I'm ordering some Christmas stuff, because I am going to wait. I'm going to be good. I am going to wait. Maybe I'll just do do it then, if, it, if it's still around. So, um... I didn't like the little ticket uh, up there, so I got this big thing, this big die cut that's one through seven. Um, there's no significance to those numbers except for they're gold and sparkly and pretty and it matches and I like the way it looks. So 
that's what that is. Now, I also pulled off this die cut that says Delightful Day, and I am actually going to use some Versamark ink and then some clear embossing powder and emboss that up so it has kind of a smooth enamel -y type texture on it. And the frame is going to nestle in that. Just because, like I said, there's not a lot going on with this page. It's actually a pretty, pretty simple and basic page. Um, so, but sometimes the pretty simple and basic pages are the pretty ones. So, here I am. And this is what I do with my letter stickers. I don't use the flap that is placed there by the manufacturer. I cut off the side and store them horizontally. So I can slide in and out my um, sticker sheets pretty easily. M much easier than if I was just, um, you know, using the provided flap by the manufacturer. Um, and here is where I, I had stopped the camera and went over and embossed that little piece. That little die cut right there that I'm layering up there. And I decide that it needs to be popped up a little bit. It needs, it needs a little bit of extra height. Um, just, just to give it, just to give it a little oomph. And I use some, some craft foam. And this is just craft foam that I got at Michael's. It's not sticky backed, but my ATG uh, makes it sticky. So it works out great. And I just um, take a bunch of little pieces and cover it up because I really don't want anything to fall, meaning I don't want this gap so that the, the picture is laying down crookedly on top. And there I just had a moment. <laughs> so I have two ATGs um, and my pink one ran out of tape. So I just grabbed the red one. However, the red one was out of tape as well. So I actually had to stop and fill up both of them. So I filled up them both and then got back to scrapping and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, my husband had actually bought me the pink one after I had the red one. And um, when he did, at first I was thinking, wow, this is really excessive. Like, I have two HEGs now. And, like, that's just excessive. But I got to tell you, it's so nice to just set one down and pick it up when it runs out of tape. Even though it's frustrating when they both end up running out of tape. Uh, but it's it's just, it's a nice thing to have. Um, I also have these uh, Jolie's Boutique little flowers that I pulled out of my stash. And then I also have this gray uh, washi that I'm not sure where it came from. I've had it for a long time. It's actually part of my uh, Rediscover Your Stash kit. And I ripped it, so I just tossed it and uh, tried again. And this time I got it down perfectly, just fine. I got it positioned just where I wanted it. Eventually. There we go. And that's all good. And then I'm going to add a little bit up at the top too, just to repeat that pattern somewhere on the page so that it's not just like this big line of washi tape. And I'm going to mess with these flowers um, for a little bit. I almost do three down on the washi tape. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I know I want to use the flowers. I like the little rhinestone color in the center of them. It goes great with this citrus twist kit this month and the flowers are kind of like an ecru color so they work great with the kit as well. I end up just using a couple of them and that's, that's fine. So here I am adding that washi tape up to the top because I'm thinking that up there needs a little bit extra. I mean, that's a lot of gold up there um, and a lot of numbers that nobody, if somebody looked at that, I'm sure they could come up with something in their head. Oh, she has the numbers because blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I have the numbers because the color works and the glitter works and they're pretty. <laughs> um, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> So I'm just messing around and figuring out where I want everything. And I do put that little flower there on the Delightful Day banner. And it stays there. Like, I, I'm good with that. I, I'm good with that. It's going to stay there. 
And I'm just looking at that washi tape and I'm thinking something needs to go here. Um, I'm like, maybe these gold stars that came in the ephemera pack. And I'm like, no, they're, that's really not the look I'm going through for. I have this soft, like, crocheted lace and those stars are kind of like, boom, in your face. It's not, it's not really working for me. So I find um, these brads and they're from Prima, I believe. And they're actually um, like seashore themed, but the colors work. So there's one that says us that I pull out and um, I go ahead and use that obviously by the photo of us. And then there's one that says, what does this say? I'm trying to read it. It's really relax. And if you've ever been to Mere Woods, you'll know that it's, it's a very peaceful and calm place. So I figured that was appropriate as well. And then I pulled off the little pearlized ones just to add um, some more brads. And I poke them all through. And I'm not sure if I do it on camera or not, but I do cover all the backs of my brads in washi tape. And that's just so they don't poke any pages that are on the other side of them. And it's um, smooth when I put place them into the album. So I'm just getting that done. And I'm like, yay, woo, sounds good. And then I am going to see those puffy stickers that are there on my trimmer. I am going to use those as well. And here's where I decide, okay, there it is. There's where I decide to put the flower up at the top. And I'm thinking that it needs a little bit of something extra. So here's where I start pulling out the hearts. And it's just a matter of figuring out where I want to place it. And I decide that I like it better there. I like it better with the heart in between the six and the seven. And it's kind of like the flowers kind of nestled on top of the heart. And that works. And then I decide to bring a little bit of embellishment to the washi tape. Because I've been trying to do that um, multiple times throughout scrapbooking this page. Is to just bring a little bit of extra oomph to that washi tape. And I end up using... The, uh, the little heart puffy sticker from Citrus Twist. And this is where I'm going to do those pearlized um, brads. I'm going to layer them with the hearts that are there. And then here, <laughs> so I think throughout this video, my letter stickers have fallen off and I have placed them back on. And that's just a chipboard thicker thing. I know a lot of people use wet glue to place them down, but I find that my ATG works great for it, and my ATG is handy, and I say use what is handy. All right, guys, that'll finish this up for me. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.